I've been wanting to make this top five for the longest time. And we're finally here. We are finally here, ladies and gents. Coming in at the number five spot is going to be the only Call of Duty montage. Spoiler alert. And in this montage, you're going to see uh, a lot of influence, well, in all five of them, you're going to see quite a bit of influence in my videos, but some specific stuff that we'll get into with, uh, like, the color gradient and really subtle um, syncing and, well, there's one part that, I mean, I'm in the comment section on this one. Where are we? TCG was here, 454, godlike, haha, -ha, sarcasm, Matt Cross. We're going to downvote that, because I wasn't fucking sarcastic. So this came out in 2009, and the description is cringe as fuck, top-notch multimedia. Shout out to them. Uh, Yeah, let's just get right into it. I think I'm going to play it with really loud volume and not talk too much, and then maybe we'll skim through it a second time. So... Yeah, let's crank this shit. Probably going on. Uh, Fire Dog Lake is a. That's a dorky ass fucking intro, but I love it. Speaking of dorky. 3D in my 2D video? No one can escape. There's no way out. We're lost in the dreams. 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 fucking love the color gradient. It looks so good. I mean, look at how beautiful it is. God, get shit on. Oh wow. Oh! G shot?
I mean, he just used one song in all of that cinematic for one clip. That's amazing. And then, I mean, the music. Oh, here we go. 454 Godlike is coming up. That right there. That little flash just from the right wall with the song. It's perfect. Holy shit. Kevin sucks. my game audio. Oh, it's so good. We don't care about the credits. Sorry. Okay. So many things to talk about. First of all, where's just a good shot of like the colors? I love how dorky this intro is. I talk about all the time how Halo 3 is like the best graphics of all time for just like being able to see and like how clear everything is and what is like an enemy, what's ally, map contour. Call of Duty, I've always had trouble seeing, but this Call of Duty 4 is easily the best when you don't have like bullshit ghillie suits involved on in maps like this, but it just, it looks so good. Like it, you know, this game is fucking 12 years old. Graphics aren't the best, but that completely conflicts with my Halo 3 point. LOL! It just, I don't know, there's something about it. I don't know if it's nostalgia glasses or... Like, look, I don't know, it just looks so good to me. Even though it's complete shit at the same time. Look at the, the muted, like, gray at the top and bottom. And then... The very vibrant color in the middle. I tried to emulate this a few times and I never got it to look as good as this. You can kind of see I went for a similar thing. It was purple to white. When did this come out? Not 2016, holy shit. And mine was much more in your face. Um, 
but I love the gradient blend uh, that's throughout the entire video. Um, the use of sound is very well done. Um, in between clips, he'll mute the game audio and then play it. I don't know how much of this is custom audio where he's using like his own hit markers and shit. But another thing I want to point out is it felt like every single clip was important to uh, Peter and or the editor. Like, all of these moments were, I don't, I don't know if they're from tournaments or just scrims or whatever. You could tell, you know, competition, the love of competition was there. And it felt like all of these, you know, 1v2s and, and uh, you know, like 4Ks, they mattered. And, I mean, like, with my song, Dance Floor, I, I think it's... Stylophonic. Speaker, speaker, I'm a dance floor. Tell me, speaker, what is wrong? I fucking adore that song. I get around. It was in Hope 5. I adore that song. Bigger than bad. All three of those songs are in this montage, and I think they're all amazing. And the transition from uh, I Get Around to Bigger Than Bad, let's see, when did that happen? This is really good. I mean, that's so seamless that I've been listening to those songs for 10 years now, and I can't even tell where they stop and end. And this is all happening during, like, a solid, like, 20-second 1v1, where if this was made now, it would be cut to, like, 3 seconds and him just, uh, him just killing him. After the failed knife, you know, he wouldn't even show any of that. I love how... They weren't a victim to fast-paced stuff. I, I've i never been a fan of like really fast-paced editing. I like when they take their time. Um, I mean, all of this. No music. It was just a 1v2 that lasts like 30 seconds. The heartbeat, and like, and they don't use the colors because, you know, there's no music. It's, it's like kind of its own part of the montage. Um, cough. The fuck is that montage madness? I don't want to bring that up. Trash. All right, let's get the. And then this is. How long is this build up? I love. And it's funny too, cause everything outside of this part of the song is garbage, but this part of the song is amazing. How long is this build up? Thirty seconds of cinematics for one three piece. In the rain. See, well, that looks so good. He should have been moving here. This should have been a left to right pan of him walking forward. What happened? It froze. Really? Okay. This is like super slow mo, and then I think he cranks up the slow mo even more here during the reload. Oh, that looks so good. And it gets even slower over time. That is fucking phenomenal. And then you have 454. Look at how vibrant this color is. He's just hard scoping into smoke, and it looks beautiful. Oh, I fucking love that. And there's one moment that I always regret not doing something like that every single time I watch it. 
God fucking damn it. Right there. I flash very, very subtle dark flash. Right there. And then I should have followed it up with white. Right there. Oh well. Feels bad, man. <laughs> but yeah, this, this montage does it for me. Really fucking good. Music, the colors, the FOV, I like how narrow it feels. Cinemax are really good and dorky. We're gonna reply to this guy. No. I'm a dork. You're gonna upvote me. Alright, that's number five.